Well, for some of us, we saw some pretty good rain uh, last night and the past two nights. Now, thankfully, that stretch of wet weather is over and we're actually in for a pretty nice stretch of weather here as we head into the weekend. Now, overall, looking at precipitation for June, just over three inches, we should be getting near three or four and a half inches of rainfall by this point of the month. So definitely running a deficit of about uh, 1.3 inches here. And I think we're going to end the month. Remember, June ends on Sunday. I think we're going to end the month below average for precipitation, despite the fact that over the next three days or so, we could see some additional precip here, but not a lot. A couple of tenths, maybe a quarter of an inch. That is about it. No appreciable rainfall. That's well to our north and our east. So unfortunately, things look to be dry and they could remain dry even six to 10 days out. There are equal chances across the bluegrass here of above or normal, above or below normal precipitation, but better chances for above average precipitation will be to our north and below to our south. So we're kind of in the middle. Uh, doesn't mean we can't see any, but chances aren't that terribly great. Overall, as we go through our Thursday, we could see a little bit of patchy morning fog. Could be dense in some locations. Other than that, once it dissipates, lots of sunshine for just about everybody throughout the day today. And for the most part, you'll be hard pressed to really find any clouds uh, once that fog dissipates. Lots of abundant sunshine today uh, throughout the entire region with very comfortable temperatures, light winds, low humidity, really a nice day. Maybe a very slight uptick in those clouds as we get toward Friday morning, but that's really nothing to be concerned about. So watch for that patchy morning fog before about 8 or 9 a.m. Then it dissipates and we're looking at a pretty nice day overall across the entire region here with numbers uh, pretty comfortable. Mid 80s, that's a degree or two shy of where we should be for this time of the year. Overnight lows, lower to mid 60s. Another great sleeping night for most of us. And then you look at uh, the extended forecast, it's really not that bad. A couple of afternoon showers and storms possible on Saturday could linger into early Sunday morning. That's our next cold front. And man, it really cools us down. Look at those numbers on Monday, below average temperatures.